Right, so what you've got in front of you are some questions that are getting you to think about the bits, bytes, kilobytes, terabytes, and so on. These are often questions that seem simple, but they trip people up when they misread them. So the first question here that we've got is to calculate the file size of 10 pixels by 10 pixels with a color depth of three bits, all right? And it wants to know the maximum size that it could be, all right? So how would we work that out? Yeah, so you know that there's three bits per... And then per pixel, and there's uh, 100 pixels because it's 10 squares. Yeah. Now, that's obviously a one marker, all right? But in general, what I'd expect you to do is show you're working out. So 10 times 10 is 100. And how many possible bits are there? There's three, all right? So times by three, that means there are 300 possible bits available. Now, that's in bits. What am I going to have to do if I need to work that out in bytes? You divide it by eight. Yes, okay. And the only reason I'm doing that for you is so that you have that to watch back and you think about it, all right? So if I need to then get that into bytes, it, I know it's not what the question's asking. It says calculate the file in bits. But I know that 8 bits make a byte. So if I needed to then convert that again, all right, I would need to divide it by 8 to get it into bytes. All right? And I'm just making that as a side note so that you think about it when you're doing these questions. All right? So when you're working with bits, all right, remember to get it into bytes, you divide it by 8. Now, if I had, all right, it in bytes, so I've then converted that into bytes, how do I make it into kilobytes? What would I then have to do to get it into kilobytes? Uh, divide then I'd have to divide it by a thousand, all right? For kilobytes. But then, what if I need to go from kilobytes, again, kilobytes into a megabyte is divide by a thousand again. What could I have done, all right, to go straight from that by a million? Yes, okay? Because that times that would be a million, okay? So if I need to go straight from bytes into megabytes, I would then divide by a million. You're not going to get something like that with decimals. They den ge generally speak to like 1,000 and so on. All right, so the next question was, define the term sample resolution. What is the sample resolution? Let's see how well we're doing. Yes, okay. The number of bits allocated per sample. You remember that you have your sound wave and your, each time it's sampled in order to get it into an MP3, all right? So what the sample resolution is, is the number of bits. See, I'm visual, that's why I'm draw drawing this. Don't draw all over your paper, all right? But the number of bits, all right, per sample, all right? What would be a disadvantage of having a higher, and we've got one mark available, but there's a couple of answers to this. So, yes? Yes, all right. If you have a higher sample rate, think about it, it's more bits per sample. So if I have a higher sample resolution, I'm going to have more storage is needed, all right? So we've got more storage needed. All right. Yes. Good, all right. Longer to send across the internet or you can say longer to upload or download say it like that all right the other thing is which you know it's it's not really something that comes to my mind right right away but you need more processing power
power when recording. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. Because this one does require you to demonstrate your working out. So you have a 50 second sound that has been recorded at 40,000 hertz. All right. So what you're going to need to do, so what you need to do when you answer these questions, they give you information for a reason. So I'm going to need to know that I need the 40,000 hertz. All right. So a sound has been recorded at 50, 50 seconds with this many samples. All right. But it says two bytes have been used to store each sample of sound. Now, to get to your answer, what are we going to need to do first? So I've got a sample rate of 40,000, 50 seconds, yep. Yeah. Alright, so what am I going to do? Let's give me the maths here. You have to the Think about how, where we go first. This is, you need to break this down. Oh, would you? This is the end of the Would you 50 times 40,000 times 16 divided by 1? Wait, where have you got 16 from? Uh, 2 bytes, which is 18. I mean, uh, 18. Oh, it's not just 18. No, you don't, you're, you're overcomplicating it for yourself. You, you, you're halfway there, so well done. Yep, so you do 50 times 40,000, all right, mm -hmm. times 2. What does that give you? 4 million. So you know that, that you've got 4 million as a result of that. Now there's, all right, then what do I do? So that, what, what has that given you it in, though? Which unit has that ended up with us being at? Because our answer's got to be in megabytes, but what? unit have we ended up in? Bytes. Because? Because you, it was in bytes. Yeah, it was in bytes originally. So I've multiplied 50 times 40,000 times 2, which gives us it in 4 all right, million. Now, how do I get the 4 million into megabytes? Bearing in mind, what we talked about up here, we are going to divide it by 1 million. Okay? So we should have ended up with 4 megabytes as your answer. Now, your answer there, your answer there of doing it by 16, okay, you could have done it that way, but then you would have needed to have converted it back into bits. And then you would have had to actually ended up having to um, divide it multiple times, all right? So you would have overcomplicated it yourself. Because the answer was going to megabytes, don't give yourself extra steps that you don't need to, all right? So it would have worked, what you said, but you would have done it in a roundabout way. Yes. And I'll look at that later, all right? All right. The next question is kind of sh straightforward. You've got an 8 by 8 black and white image. The image has been represented in a bit pattern of 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 on row 3. This is a bit like pa pa pattern recognition. All right? so, zero, so the 0 represents the black in this case. So now it says row 4. All right, would be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So that's how you should have got that. So 0, 1, 1. So look at what the patterns. Don't just assume because it's black it means it's on, all right, or off and vice versa. Always refer to the pattern that they give you at the bottom and then follow the same suit. There are some easy marks to be gained there. But then, we've got another question here. I'm gonna try and keep this video to 10 minutes long and then give you the mark scheme so you can do the others, all right? 
An image in the diagram is going to be changed so that each pixel, all right, can be any one of 16 different colors. How do I represent 16 bits? Sorry, 16 colors, because it's not 16 bits, all right? Yeah. Bits. They explain it to me oh, though. Right. 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. Yeah, so you would get points for actually acknowledging, all right, 2 to the power of 4, all right, gives you 16 possible colors, all right? Okay. Now, where am I going to go from that, all right? So uh, it says here, what is the minimum number of bits that would be needed to represent the entire image? So I know. All right, that is 2 to the power of 4 to represent 16. All right. So I need 4 bits per pixel. So moving across there, 4 bits are needed per pixel. So if I've got 4 bits per pixel, what's the size of the image? No, before, how do I get there? Yeah, so 8 times 8 gives you 64. 64, all right. Then what have I got to do with that 64? Just times it by 4, which is the bit. Yeah, and that's going to give you your answer of 256. Good. So if you have, all right, 16 colors available, you've got to work out how many bits that would need. If you had, say, uh, 32 colors, all right, how many bits is that going to be? And so on. So make sure you know how many bits you are multiplying by. And if you need to on some of these questions, some, some people that are not as strong at their maths, all right, I know generally as programmers we are pretty solid with our maths, but if you're not, all right, you can just draw your grid out, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and think about how many bits would fit in. That might help some of you. Just double check your answers sometimes, all right? Writing out the binary grid to look at how many possible colors, because I, I know that 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 it is. How many, what's the maximum number I can get with 4 bits? 15, but you remember off counts as a, as a representative. 8 plus 4 is, what's 8 plus 4? 12, plus the 2 is 14, plus the 1 is 15, but you always count everything being off as a possible outcome. So that is 16 possible outcomes, that's, where that, that's why that works. I think if you understand that, you will understand where the answers come from. All right. Um, I'm going to stop recording there because it's gone through those. All right. Then I'll upload that so you can watch that back. Hopefully it's helped a little bit. All right.